All right, everybody, so check this out. Uh, we're up here in Bridgeport, Texas, and uh, we are in the middle of nowhere. We're trying to go live, but I don't know if it's gonna work. We got some backup cameras. We're still gonna film with two or three phones, but uh, in this building is uh, supposedly uh, three 1970 Challengers, and one's a four-speed 440. No, it's a four-speed 383, purple. So let's go check it out. Looks like everybody's here. It's out here. What's up, man? Good. Holy shit, it's real. I'll come take a look at it, exactly. So I came out here, opened this door up, and there you go, man. All right, from you, and this is exactly how I found them. And the first thing I thought of was, you know, I'm gonna give you a call because obviously this is something I thought you'd be interested in. And number three is in the back. Yeah, I see it back there, orange. Yeah. So this is, uh, you ran the numbers on this car. Yeah. This, this is 70. This is a 71. 71. RT383, plum crazy purple. The cool thing about this car is it's a power window car. Well, it's also AC and power steering yeah. and power brakes. Yeah, this is yeah. Texas. It's also, but it's an automatic, not a four feet. What? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, power <laughs> automatic, you know, it's a freezer. But here's man. the thing is this guy, I talked to this guy, and he's got some stories on this car that'll blow your mind. Yeah, he had to almost like park this car because he was getting in trouble, supposedly outrunning the cops, supposedly this car is kind of like a Christine where it's got a little jinx to it. You gotta hear from him. This was his wife's car. She drove this car. And they had at one point five challengers and they knew everybody in this area for the last 50 years and what people drove and the cops knew their cars so every time he told me every time they'd go out in these cars they'd get pulled over and they've got to, exactly so they just see the car they pull them over and they so they hid the cars kind of out here and this is where they've been sitting since 90. all right so what's the story on this one before the guy gets here dude i don't know i love this car i, oh, opened, up the, I opened up the door on this thing and saw that interior being original 340 car. I mean, honestly, this car to me was like probably my favorite car. Even though it's not the purple car, I just really love this interior in this car. Uh, but 340 numbers matching car. Again, these guys know no cars, and these guys know exactly how to make these things work. They were, they were telling me how they got the cops within like 10 minutes. As long as they lasted 10 minutes, the cops would all you know, um, heat up, their transmission cooler wouldn't work. They didn't have a transmission cooler. The, yeah, the regular uh, cooler wasn't a heavy duty one. So they just heat up and they just leave them in the dust. So they had these things set up to, back in the seventies to outrun the locals. Well, it's hot, man. Where is this dude? I don't know. This guy's a character. Can you look at the black one? Is it hot? Yeah. This is pretty crazy. I mean, yeah. I saw a picture, but you never know. So now the hard part is, can we get bought? Uh, I mean, you want to leave here with all of them, but uh, you know, usually this is the part where the guy comes in, he starts talking about them, and then he decides that uh, he wouldn't mind keeping a few. Three automatic air cars. <laughs> it's freaking rad, man. Oh, yeah. Anyways, the guy's in. That's one of those. Hey. Until you've opened everything, you don't have any idea what you got. Looking for transformer. Landy, hey, what's up, Landy? Not much. Landy, this is Richard Rollins. Hey, how you doing? Richard Rollins. Hey, guys, my name is Jason, Jeremy, and Tony. Mechanic. Yeah. Heck yeah. I appreciate oh, you uh, letting us in a little early, giving me your thing, but as we are at a non-disclosed location here, and I was giving him a little bit of rundown of what you told me, but at the end of the day, brother, these are... These were your cars, and you tell them what you told me. Oh, well, uh, let me let my guys take a look at them, and you tell me about them. Uh, what's up with the black car? Uh, this is the first one I got. Well, I know black. none of them run. So. Oh, my thing. My wife is going to love it. Uh, if the guy say, yeah, it took me three months to tie him in the trunk. So that was the first one. And then he was the one that actually told me how to find a, you know, to find a club. That's what they Uh-huh. Uh, he had reboarded at full rate pin. I had nitrous. I didn't want any of that, but it was, that's what, uh, it was a 340, 360, and it boarded out, and it run fantastic. Yeah. But of course, he was a mechanic, and just, he took his kids out every Sunday for, for, for a ride, 
I knew it wouldn't have any problems. That's awesome. And then the purple one. I mean, what's really cool is these are all AC cars. Oh, yeah, they all have AC. You just that power one. Uh, I had a chance to buy uh, the yellow and the black. Uh, for, for colors I really wanted. But uh, 30000 bucks just back in early 2000 and no AC in this kit. How can anybody enjoy a car without the AC? Okay. So this is cool. And uh, uh, Ron told me that this is, uh, he checked it out the other day and it's a numbers matching car. Oh, yeah. The guy that owned it was a mechanic that originally yeah, did a lot of my work here. Oh, okay. He was killing a car wreck over there where uh, 287 and 1810 intersect. That's yeah, I know that area. Yeah. This looks like it's got a little metal flake in it. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> now, I'm told on it, but it's sharp looking. But the damn woman, when I told her I wanted black, she said, well, what about black sapphire? I said, as long as black. Well, if you get it out in the sunlight, uh, it's not totally black. I got it. Yeah, but it's better. Metal black in it. Now, my wife knows the metal black colors that were in the original one, and it was the most beautiful of all. Oh, man. So this was called Night Thing. Did yeah, Night Thing. G -A -T -N -G. Do you have a name for this one? No, no. Well, it's Trouble. Trouble. Yeah, it is. I mean, every time I took it, it broke down. Oh, yeah. yeah it took me two years to work all the kinks out. Golly. Did we get signal yet? No? Damn. This would be so cool if it was live. Let's uh, check out this orange one. You can tell me about it. Yeah, well, eating on a uh, horse power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so it's 71. You couldn't buy a high conversion motor, except if you ordered the motor separate from the car and then let your dealer put it in. Well, that just was unheard of, so they had to put extra, you know, nitrogen on them, foil, spoiler, uh, you know, interior, wood brain, your steering wheel, uh, and have hemi orange. That is so cool on the interior. I yeah, like they, that flag. Well, they call it hound tooth. They call this hounds too? Yep, they call it, they had another name for it, but that's what they, uh, everybody called it. Hey, you got the keys for it? Oh, I think I got it in Hollis, Oklahoma. Yeah, he's got a good, uh, a good question. You got the keys for any of these? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. They're they're in the in a minute. Yeah, yeah, I was just curious what's in the trunk. They're in the trunk. Oh, puzzle? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a little trunk. No. Oh, yeah. There's a truck out there? Yeah, yeah. I brought them yesterday. And I guess they all got good tops. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've had them. And, and, and you'll sell them all? Huh? What is it? Statue of Liberty. Well, my kid liked them. They're like grimmers. Stuff, they're prompt. That's a beer urn, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's one hell of a That is a beer urn from. That's uh, a lot of beer. Well, you know, a lot of them have a beer urn. Bring your own. Oh, the Statue of Liberty? Well, yeah, they're made in Germany, though. So, not great. Y'all don't break nothing. Because we still got, if we can make a deal. Gotta get these things out of here. Man, here. I tell you, Landy, I like them. Will you sell them all? Yeah. Yep. Oh, Chris, it's boom. Oh, you've got an old boat over I have just taken care of them for years to give them to the kids, and they just don't. Yeah, them millennials responsive. don't like nothing, do they? Well, they're just not responsible. Yeah, they're not responsible. They wanted my nephew. They don't they like finally, nothing. They finally got two kids back together, and so I gave him one of them. And I gave him a grandson, right. P.O.T. I just tried to help. Take care of my dad and my wife. I just don't have time to enjoy my toy. Alright, so you, call me when you don't have time for them. So, what, what, what are you, where do you think you'll end up? What do you need to make? Honestly, I think the, I, well, I've thought about this and I've just, you know, we do what we do and I just don't have the manpower right now to go through all these cars. I don't I have the, the, you know, the time to I mean I'd love to just put them up and deal with them later but we got so much stuff going on right now so honestly how about this you negotiate with him however much you think you're gonna get for the car and save me like 10 grand and I'm good okay. just on top of whatever you pay off him I mean look you got a real numbers matching 383 RT fun crazy purple we both know that these are all great cars I gotta get it down from, the, from 60 the, oh yeah but and you want me to work them I will but to be honest these cars here can do, do some you know, well you know what to do with them you got hey, all Jason. the time in the little parts but the purple ones the, all the money's right there run up to the Dodge and get me that blue bag okay you wear the console cash. yep so Alright. Tell him to throw in the boat for free. I don't know what the boat is. <laughs> you wanted to sell it. <laughs> I, I, boat means uh, what? Bust out another thousand? Exactly. 
So, uh, no, they don't. <laughs> I, I, I can't get to 60. I was at 30. I mean, 35? Mm, no. <laughs> Maybe get more in the middle. How about uh, 38 and you throw the boat in? No, oh, no, no. I'm <laughs> boat. <laughs> I didn't even know we had a boat back here. <laughs> no, we had one back here. <laughs> it was owned by Steve McClure. How about 38 for the cars? I don't really yeah. need a boat. Yep, that's not fair. Kick cool. ass. Good deal, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Andy, yeah. appreciate you, brother. Yeah. Well, Thank I you appreciate you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, no All right. Then we, uh, get the other guys, yeah, there we go. that's what y'all are here for. So uh, let's start figuring out how to get them out fastest. I don't think we're going to get air into that one. No. Um, we'll have to get the trailer to the door with a winch and spin this thing around. Yeah, whichever one you want to go with first. It looks like if these all four will take air, if these two will take air, let's get this one on a single car. Okay. Uh, and make sure the hoods and everything are bolted down, everything down. We don't want to lose nothing. And don't clean anything off of the board now. One down. Y'all yep. take a break. Okay, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, there you go, yeah, early bird gets the worm. I got a call late last night. We were here for cash this morning and uh, got three challengers that hadn't seen the light of day since the 90s. And that's super cool. Uh, here's what's really cool. They're now for sale. I can't exactly lie about what I paid for them, but as soon as we get back to shop, we're gonna start dragging them in one by one, get them running, get them driving. The price is only gonna go up from there. So if you want them, info at guysmonkeygarage.com. Be serious, no fakers. And if you had to ask your mom or your grandma or hawk your house, get all that shit done first and then call me.